I'm terrible at languages. I'm so bad at learning languages. Is that something that you sometimes tell yourself? I hope not. I'm Agnieszka Murdoch and I'm the founder of 5 Minute Language. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So today's video is about whether or not some people are naturally bad at learning languages. It's something that I hear a lot. Some people say, I'm so bad at learning languages. I can never learn a language. I could never be fluent. Uh, but is it actually true that some people are just born bad at languages? I don't think so. So I'm going to give you some reasons why I don't think that some people are naturally bad at learning languages. The first thing I'm going to say is that everyone's got a different learning style. Certain methods of teaching languages, for example, work for some people, but they completely don't work for other people. So imagine this situation. I'm sure you've, you've uh, seen it before. In a classroom setting, when uh, you're with other people in a group and the teacher is teaching the entire class. There are some people who really thrive in that kind of environment, some people who do really, really well, and then there are other people who don't really seem very engaged and they don't really do very well. So why is that? Is that because those people are worse at the thing that you're trying to learn? No, I think maybe they're not interested. But let's assume they are interested. Uh, it's probably that they are just not interested in being taught in that kind of traditional way in the classroom setting. So everyone's got a different style. What works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another person. The people who are not engaged in the classroom, there might be a method out there that is really going to help them to achieve their full potential. They just haven't really explored it yet. They haven't found it yet. So if you think that you're not naturally good at languages, it might be that you basically haven't explored all the different teaching and learning methods out there. So try different things. If you've tried classes and you found them boring, then definitely try something else. If you've tried learning from textbooks, practicing reading from textbooks, and you're not interested in the texts, then obviously you need to reach out for something else, such as a blog or an article about something you're interested in. Try different things and don't let yourself think that you're just naturally bad at languages. The second thing I want to say is that people enjoy different things. So for example, you might have a textbook with an article about cooking. Some people might be really interested in that, other people might not really mind reading about cooking, but some people just hate cooking and they have no interest in cooking. So how do you expect them to actually enjoy what they're doing? That's why the first step to success or one of the first steps to success when learning a language is exploring what you're actually interested in. What kind of things do you like? What kind of things do you find interesting or intriguing? Uh, you know, is it aviation? Is it fashion? Is it cooking? Is it sport? Uh, ask yourself these questions because they're not immediately obvious. We might know intuitively what we're interested in, but, um, you know, do some thinking about it proactively and really ask yourself, what are my interests? What am I interested in? What do I want to read about? Uh, and focus on that. The next reason why I don't think some people are naturally bad at languages is because people have different personalities. So some people are very extroverted, some people are very happy to speak, and other people are more shy or more introverted. Uh, and we need to really consider those differences when we, when we learn. Because it might be that, you know, you go to a language course and there's a group and there's lots of group work and you don't really enjoy working in groups with other people. Maybe you prefer one-to-one -one interactions or you prefer learning by yourself or you prefer learning over Skype with somebody that you're not actually in the same room with. So... Um, Different personalities have different approaches to language learning. And one person might be really good at speaking, but not very good at 
vocabulary or understanding what they're reading whereas another person might be very shy and introverted they're not very good at speaking but they're actually amazing at writing in a foreign language so uh, again I'm saying that there is no such thing as being naturally bad it's, there's just different personalities involved and the final thing I want to say is that some people might think that they're not good at languages because they're not making progress they're not learning as quickly as they would want to and sometimes that might be because they basically don't have a very structured approach to learning. They don't have an action plan. They don't have objectives. They don't know what they're aiming for. So their progress is slower because they might be going through the same material over and over again. That's something that I really focus on in my course, Language Learner Pro. In the five minute language school, I'm gonna link it down below so you can have a look if you're interested but I really focus on the methodology of learning languages. So how do you structure your learning? How do you plan it? How do you execute it? How do you make sure that you've got a plan that you can follow, that you can use to track your progress? That's something that really helped me learn languages and learn all the other things I'm learning at the moment, having a kind of specific plan in place. So this is it. This is basically my take on whether or not some people are naturally bad at languages. Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye!